It is the annual hat contest. You look delightful. Divine. Thank you so much. This morning we are going to uh, get a sample of the type of hats you will be seeing in Del Mar today. Diana Cavaniero of Designer Millinery is here with us today and we'd like to say good morning and thanks so much for bringing all these wonderful good morning. designs in. Terrific stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much. Tell us, you've been designing hats for 20 years. Yes, I have. Uh -huh. And these are some of your creations. What is it about our fascination with hats? It really puts you in a different mood, doesn't it? It does and it changes your personality totally. So if you're feeling a little blue, you put it on and it'll give you a little bit of pizzazz. Hmm. Now show us uh, some of the hats that you have made and tell us what goes into a lot of hard work. Yes. Um, this one is raffia and um, I dyed it blue and green and then I weaved it together. It took about two days to do that. And it's very durable and it's great for the sun. What a beautiful creation. And it, the, the, you can move the brim and change it. It's just very, very versatile. So this is something that you could wear um, all the time. All the time, yes. whereas a hat like I'm wearing. Tell us tell about this one. Um, those are ostrich with coke feathers and it's a big eight inch Panama straw. And how long did it take you to make this hat? Um, quite a few hours. <laughs> what got you interested in making hats? When did you decide to be a hat maker? Well, the hats in the stores are only one size, and I have a, a big head. They wouldn't fit my head, so I wanted to learn how to do it. <laughs> so when I was working at the Old Globe, I asked them if I could go into the millinery department there, and I, that's how I learned how to make hats. This must be a fun time of year for you, because obviously on opening day of the track, a woman always shows up at the races with yes. some sort of an extravagant looking You're hat. You're not fully dress unless you have a hat on on opening day. Why is that? What, what, where does this tradition come from? Any ideas as to why people go to the track always wearing a beautiful hat? I think it came from the nobility and the royalty in Europe. They, they used to go to the, the races and they were always dressed, you know, very, always had a hat on their head. Now you have some beautiful uh, hats here. Do you have any advice for men? Because I've been kidding around this morning saying, you know, we, all the, the hats are made for women, but generally a man can wear a chapeau or yes. something to that effect. And, and I see a lot more men wearing Panama straws now, especially because of the sun. And um, I'm really think it's exciting how many more men are wearing hats. Now, do you have a particular favorite? Um, no, they're like my children. Well, this one, you said that you. You did this with uh, twine, or yeah, rayon covered cording, mm -hmm. and it. Uh, I start here sewing on the sewing machine, and it takes me about six to eight hours to do one of these, oh. and they're totally versatile. You can just, you know. Do this put and, in a and put it in your suitcase and you're ready to go. And for people who are interested in, in buying one of your creations, you are located downtown in the gas lane. Yes, I am. Uh huh. And you also teach hat classes? I teach it at um, Mesa College for the last 13 years. And then, of course, if somebody doesn't want to buy a hat, they can enter the contest today, the one and only Truly Fabulous Hat Contest. Sandra, I think we really need to see you in this. You this tell us a little bit about this one, because this is one I noticed you had your eye on. That is made out of horse hair. Mm -hmm. And in, in style right now, you, Sex in the City has really influenced. Very nice. And the, everyone wants the big flowers that they're wearing in Sex and the City. <laughs> and so that's why I you put those. You can get me one of the Sex and the City girls. Yeah. I love that. Okay. Very and so people nice. are asking for the big flowers. So the bigger, the better. And it's just been really um, that's my very, motto. very popular this year. All right. And of course, the horse hair is so feminine. Well, Diana, we love the creations. Thanks so much for coming in and sharing them with us. And think I'm sure I'd get noticed if well, I went to the I garden. think you'll be noticed regardless. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. The best I appreciate of luck. It. We'll try Thank to get you. everything on the website so people who are interested can, uh, can find out more. And, of course, the uh, safe thing about entering the hat contest is you don't lose out on any money if your hat doesn't win. Check out some of the prizes up for grabs. The grand prize winner gets a trip for two to Jamaica. First place in each category wins $250 plus a trip for two to the Venetian Hotel in Las Vegas. Second place winners $175 and a two-night stay at the Hyatt Regency La Jolla. And third place $150 and a one-night stay at the Courtyard Marriott in Solana Beach. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think maybe you need to borrow a few of these and bring yeah. them along with you. I think so. Time right now is 739. Find out if Mother Nature is betting on good weather.